Um, and how do you think uh, subcontractors can manage contracts which were written before uh, the pandemic changed the way sites will now be run? I think, well, there's probably two parts to that. There's firstly their ability to manage their own cash flow and therefore effectively calculating what they can afford to cover for the period until they're able to raise applications or invoices and stage their own return to site. Um, and that might well be having reduced numbers on site or buying materials in stages rather than materials up front. Um, but then on the other side of that, the contractor may be demanding certain levels of work to be carried out on site. Mm. And the other part of that is there will be inefficiencies created by social distancing at work. So, you know, you might have two workers in a confined space doing a job, whereas now you'll only be able to do have one worker in that confined space doing a job. Mm. Um, and the subcontractors need to have excellent communications with the main contractor about what, who's done the risk analysis on site and therefore what are the rules and regulations for that particular site in terms of distancing, entering the site, parking, transport to and from, you know, whole, a whole plethora of, uh, of different scenarios there. But also from a cost base, Mm. Who covers the cost of the inefficiencies on site? Um, if a contract is supposed to go from date A to date B, where does B, where does B finish now? You know, is that going to be two, three, four weeks later? And if there's any costs incurred, whose cost is that? I fear that some of that cost will fall on the subcontractors. Mm. Equally, PPE equipment, um, who is going to cover the cost of that PPE equipment? Is it the main contractor that covers that cost? Is it the subcontractor that covers the cost? And the environment of the site itself, is it indoors, is it outdoors? That will, that will multiply the, um, the issues that the subcontractors have. But it always comes down to, or always comes back to, the communication that the subcontractor has got with the main contractor and almost agreeing these issues before they get back on site. Sure. They'll be dead excited at the moment. They'll be wanting to get back on site. The main contractors will say, right, the doors are open. We want you here. But have you actually had those discussions about the safety aspects, the social distancing aspects, the working environment, and really importantly, the costs and the time of completing each stage of that contract? Because they will differ from the, the originally agreed contract. So it, you know, and I've reiterated it many times, it always comes down to that communication between subcontractor and main contractor. And if there is variances to the contracts, get those variances in writing so everybody knows exactly what was, has been agreed. 